Hey, Remar nurses. I am on a plane headed to Las Vegas and we had some downtime. So welcome to my pod. There's my boy. <laughs> and guess what I have with me? I have my quick flex for NCLEX and I just wanted to pop on here so you guys can see that no matter where you are, you can always take it with you. You can always take it with you. This book is for studying on the go. So if you're a nursing student, you can have this book. You can take it anywhere. Another thing I wanted to point out is make sure you guys are using the study calendar. Make sure you're using the study calendar. You should be able to study this book in three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions from this book right here on the plane because you can be ready to go. I just had the page and I lost it. Okay. All right. According to Quick Facts, what is um, what is the normal sodium level? What is the normal sodium level? Good job. I see it on the screen already. All right. Normal sodium, fast fingers, is 135 to 145. Yep. Good job. No, nobody recognizes me with the mask. It, no, it's perfect. Nobody, nobody knows it's me under here. Okay, good job. Okay, next question. What is the normal BUN? What is the normal B-U-N, B-U-N? Quick, quick answers, guys. No, it's, it's really me under here, guys, but don't tell anybody. Okay. Okay, so Quick Facts, Quick Facts actually says eight to 25. <laughs> quick facts says 8 to 25 and the reason why you might find these numbers different in quick facts because different reference values different reference values um, accommodate different um, interpretations of exams so when you're studying lab values for quick facts when you're studying yeah when you're studying lab values for quick facts you got to remember that that it's not going to be a perfect number some people, um, Nixon says, I do eight to 20. Eight to 20 is good. That's good, that's a good, I mean, that's a good way to memorize it. Okay. In quick facts, in quick facts, I said, I say there is a medication that will disrupt platelets. What is that medication that disrupts platelets in quick facts? I'm studying from page 102. There you go. I do one So every, everybody's looking at me like, what is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> I'm studying for NCLEX, like I always do, everywhere I go. All right, so, um, the medication that disrupts platelets is aspirin, okay? It's aspirin, guys. All right. Okay. Did you guys get it? Good job, good job, good job, good job. Okay, let's see. Um, the medication. 
Okay, here's a question. Oh, Quick Facts was, is Quick Facts back in stock? If you, if you guys are trying to get this book and it's out of stock, remember that Amazon has it still. Amazon has Quick Facts still, okay? But on the website, it is out of stock. All right. Um, here's a question, guys. If the hematocrit, if the hematocrit is increased, what condition is that caused by? What condition causes an increased hematocrit? <laughs> I'm traveling to Las Vegas, which is close. Okay. Which condition increases if the hematocrit? Or what condition causes an increase in hematocrit? Good job. Good job. Um, it is dehydration. Good job. Yeah, good job. Okay. Now remember, look. This book fits right in my bag. Fits right in my baby bag. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what herbal what herbal medication lowers blood pressure and cholesterol? What herbal medication lowers blood pressure and cholesterol? I'm talking close because I have my mask on. What do you guys think? Okay, the herbal medication is garlic, garlic, okay? This is quick box. Uh-huh. Good job. You can get this on Amazon.com. Okay. Okay. Can kava kava increase the risk of suicide? Kava kava is a herbal medication. Can it increase the risk of suicide? What do you guys think? Quick let me guys get, let me give you a tour of my plane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rolling with my girl. You guys know I always have my girl Salome with me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your uh, captain. Welcome aboard Delta Flight 836. So glad to be here. Sorry that I'm late, but that's due to some uh, issues internally with Delta that they're mm -hmm. trying to resolve. It. So, oh. Welcome aboard. Three hours, 44 minutes in route. If there's anything we can do up front to make the flight more enjoyable, please pass them. My attendants, they'll pass along to us. Do ask that everyone please respect the passenger seatbelt sign and time the lights on, please. I ain't First, got my seatbelt on. Your seat belt. And just any time you're seated, please have your seatbelt fastened firmly about you, just in case we encounter a unforecast rough air. Again, three hours, 44 minutes in route. Okay. I'm certainly thankful everyone's on board, and we'll get you to Vegas as safely and efficiently as we possibly can. I'm going to Vegas. I'm super excited about Vegas. Okay, next question. Next question. Um, can, can you do, can you do a, um, can you do an autopsy on a Muslim patient? What do you guys say? Can you do an autopsy on a Muslim patient? I know, I love, I love Delta. It's one of my favorite airlines. This question comes from Quick Facts. Can you do a, an autopsy on a Muslim patient? Okay. The correct, the correct answer is no, 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 okay. No.
All right, guys. Um, they said I have to go now. All right. Okay. I'm going to pop back on here, okay? We are going to continue to study this book. You guys can get it now. It's back. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon.com, okay? And it's also, if you, if you purchase the virtual trainer, if you purchase the virtual trainer, this book comes with the virtual trainer too, okay? So I want you guys to have it. Nursing school is started. Um, I'm getting a lot of new nursing students reaching out to me for studying help. So I just want to show you guys, there's no excuse for you not to be able to study. You can study anywhere that you are, anytime, especially if you have this book, okay? So <laughs> I will see you guys later. Remember, you can, you will, you must pass NCLEX. Yeah.